Hello, Flash Cats, and welcome back to episode 5 of our Volcano Block series. I hope you guys are excited. I know I am. I've been waiting to play some more, and I've been super excited. Today, we're going to get some more quests done. So let's take a look at our quest book. Uh, we've completed about half the quests, and we've got this set of quest line, which is going to take us in and make a solder from Prodigy Tech. And we've got the top line, which is going to take us to making some other things to meet up for the energy in. We're going to go ahead and start with the top set of quests, and we're going to make a heat block. Well, what is a heat block? A heat block is six bricks, two terracotta, and one nether crystal. How do we make terracotta? Well, you just take clay, smelt it in a furnace, that makes terracotta. And nether crystal, as we saw before, uh, obtained by throwing a crystal through another portal. Well, I just so happen to have the materials we need in this chest here, and we're going to put it together. So, heat block, craft four of these. Got that done. And if you'll remember, getting clay was a little bit of a pain. Not, not super painful, but we do need to get compressed clay to get regular clay. And compressed clay comes from clicking on a rock core with a shard of the root life. These shards, again, coming from our wonderful crystals that we seem to have automated uh, pretty well. We just get some burst seeds if we need more. So again, we can place four of these down, place a shard of the root life on each of them, and we will watch them become clay. This will replace what we've used for this re excuse me, recipe. All right, get our compressed clay, turn it into regular clay, and we'll throw it back in our drawer. 36 blocks of clay, awesome. Next thing we're gonna need is a piece of flint and steel. We take a look, collect our bone meal, Warm core cannot be cra created inside of chunks claimed with Feed the Beast utils. Remember this, if you have your chunks claimed, you're going to need to unclaim them to do this. So what do we do? We obtain this by right clicking a heat block with flint and steel. So let's come over here. Our flint and steel, I believe, is in this chest. It is, and we're going to have to take a look at our claimed chunks. And... Let's get up to this area, that way we make sure to unclaim the proper ones. Uh, so we will unclaim this with right click. There we go. We're going to place this guy down, flint and steel. Now we have a warm core. Place it down, flint and steel. Place it down, flint and steel. And finally, flint and steel. Uh, I haven't noticed this process actually damaging any blocks, which is important. Uh, make sure you reclaim your chunks after you're done with that and set them to be chunk loaded if you desire that to be the case. All right, that quest has been completed. We'll grab some more bone meal from that. Let's get into talking about a freezer. Uh, the quest says to see your book of the wells for more information. Well, what is a freezer? We're gonna need some Azul. We're going to need an Asul machine case, which is just some Asul and some stone. So let's go ahead and grab uh, a bit of this and a bit of this. Uh, let's make our machine case first. Uh, we can get rid of that. Make this guy. All right, now let's take a look. We're going to need two shards of the Born Might, uh, which our shards are right here. So we got two of those. Come back to the recipe. We're gonna need one piece of terracotta, which I made an extra of when I made our other terracotta, so we have that. And the final thing we're gonna need is some smooth azurite. Well, if we look at this, this needs weathered azurite. And weathered azurite is just a shard of the root life surrounded by some cobblestone. Uh, this one, yep. I have issues remembering which crystal is which one, uh, even with the coloring. All right, so if we take a look at our uses here, we're gonna smelt this into smooth azurite, which is what the recipe calls for. So we'll come down here, back down to our wealth of furnaces, since we have eight of them, 
and we will take half of them, put there, other half there. We only need three, so we're going to not need a whole bunch. Wait for them to smelt up here. One, two, and once we get our third one, we'll go up, craft this, and not worry about these being in the furnace until we come back to use the furnace. So we'll go upstairs while those are finishing crafting. Come up here, click on our freezer, and freezer completed. Let's put our azules back. All right, now let's talk about this freezer. This freezer is gonna do a couple things. It's gonna make snow, and it's gonna make ice. We're gonna place this guy here, uh, and we're gonna need some cobblestone, and we're gonna need some water. So let's see if we have a bucket of water. There we go. And cobblestone walls will work fine for this. Back upstairs we go. Eat a little bit of bread. And we are going to do this. And important note, you can stand on top of this, so it's not a big deal. Alright, place one bit of water there, and we are going to come down here, get one more bit of water, make an infinite source up there, and then we'll fill in the rest of that square. Up we go. I actually need to place these like this. There we go. One final spot. And it is full. All right, so this freezer, you may be saying, well, it's not doing anything. That is because it needs to be powered. Let's collect our grass. Buy a power crystal. See your book of the wells for more information. Do I happen to have that on me? I do not. Let's go ahead and run downstairs and get our book of the wells. Because this is going to explain all you need to know about crystals. Book of the well. All right. Take a look at our entry index here and the easiest way I have found to navigate this is by actually looking at the picture because had you just gone to the quest here it says power crystal well my first thoughts when I would look through this would be to look for crystal uh, which happens to be crystal creation not powering so let's talk about this power crystal item has a variable recipe this means that for each part, a different item may be placed. The parts are the nucleus in the center position, the relays in the center top and bottom, the screen on the sides, and these have different recipes. So the middle piece here looks like a soul rod. Uh, the total power this crystal can contain, this may be char recharged in the charger. Range. The range in blocks that this power crystal can deliver power to and purity. The purity will determine the amount of power wasted in the air transmission when powering machines. Different items used in each of the three parts of the recipe will yield different traits. <clears throat> so these are the different nucleus possibilities. We have nine different possibilities for power relays. Uh, the easiest one I find is either lapis or redstone blocks. And then you can use glass or a couple other things for our list of possible screens. Glass, scorched glass, crystal block, nether crystal blocks, or packed ice. So what we're going to make it out of though, because we have, I believe, cat, nope, catalyst. We can make these super easy. We're just gonna have to throw another crystal through the nether portal. So let's go do that. Throw that through there, walk through, grab it. All right, and you'll see I did put some walls in between the farms just to make it a little bit harder to fall through. Uh, we're gonna take six blocks of crystal and then, looks like we have a ton of lapis, so we'll go ahead and use lapis. Uh, how much are we up to? That's good enough. So, 
come in here and make two blocks of lapis. We're going to need one of each of these crystals. There we go. Place the nether crystal, place these in. Uh, it looks like I did not do it in the right shape. That's okay. JEI will help us with that. Now, if we place these on the side, uh, our two lapis blocks and a crystal catalyst, that will give us a power crystal. Let's take a look at this. The nucleus is essential. The relay is azure. The screen is crystal. Power, 575 out of 2300. The range is 7 and the purity is 73%. Uh, this is pretty good for what our needs are going to be and that is basically just running this guy. So we're going to set it right next to there and we're going to wait until that starts working. So this is going to give us a grass block, a nourisher, and a block setter. Uh, the nourisher is a block that's going to use one of our crystal power per operation. It's basically going to be kind of like our crop dusting. It's going to help our crops grow quickly and then the golems, once we set them up, can harvest them. Uh, block setter uses five energy and does basically exactly what it says. So let's go ahead and put those in here for now. Uh, put some of this stuff in our inventory away. Crystal, uh, is there anything else we have? We can put the wood away. All right, so while we're waiting on that, this is gonna help us get our block of quartz. How do we get a block of quartz? Well, we need a warm core, a shard of the born might, and either snow or a block of quartz sitting next to it will make us a block of quartz. Well, obviously, we can't make a block of quartz until we have a block of quartz. So how are we going to do it? We're going to do it with snow. We're going to wait for this guy uh, to get working. He's going to make one of these into snow, hopefully. And let's see here. We're going to need a shovel. Let's go see if we have a shovel down here. don't believe we've made a shovel quite yet. Take a look, though. Do we have one? We have a hoe. We have our knife. Does not look like it. Thankfully, a shovel should be fairly easy to make. We do not have cobblestone down here, though. Run back upstairs, and we will get that. Uh, do this. Make our shovel, and we'll put that back. Alright, so you can see we're still at 575. That means this has not... Uh, started working yet let's break this real quick and make sure that it does not need to be placed down after the crystal can't remember if that was a requirement or not um i'm gonna put some of this stuff away our bucket dirt all right well while we're waiting on our snow to be formed let's take a look at a solder for the solder we're gonna need six ceramic one carbon plate and one nether crystal. Well, we've already seen plenty of times how to make another crystal. I'm just going to throw all six of these into this portal because at this point we're going to need plenty of them eventually anyway. And why not? Grab some of this while we're down here. Avoid stepping in the lava. I've done that way too many times. But what is more expected in Volcano Block than stepping in lava? Alright. Now, solder. So we have our nether crystal. Carbon plate is going to be 9 pieces of carbon dust. Uh, we've got 32 of that in our inventory. If you remember, we made that by putting pieces of charcoal into our rotary grinder, which we have hiding out down here. Uh, we just took some sugarcane, threw it in the lava, turned it into sugarcane charcoal, crafted those into the individual pieces of charcoal that craft one item per use, and then if you craft eight of those together, they make another piece. So, how is this guy doing? Still not quite there. Let's see, did I make more ceramic at some point? I did. Wanted to make sure that we had enough for crafting. We're gonna need quite a bit of this here in the near future. So uh, we need to craft these together to make our carbon plate. 
And finally, our solder. Now let's take a look at this guy. Uses gold dust, circuit plates, and a pattern to make circuits. Minimum temperature is 125 degrees Celsius, and it transmits 75% of its heat. Well, we've been running down here and working with our magmatic arrow heater. He only outputs temperature of 80 degrees Celsius. So this is not going to be able to power our solder, which is why it had us make our solid fuel arrow heater. So we'll place that right on top of there. Let's go back into our quest book. We'll get an iron helmet and a view. Now let's discuss what this view is. I'm gonna actually run back down here because it is the most beneficial place to test this out. All right, so in here we have a whole bunch of stuff. But say we had a ton of chests and we wanted to find, let's say a blaze rod. Uh, let's try to just blaze. There we go. Seems that we have blaze rods there and there. Uh, since this is a double chest, it's noting the one blaze rod for both. But it helps you easily find what you're looking for. Uh, so let's say we were looking for golem. Uh, it shows up in both of these. Which is super cool and super useful if you're working with chests. I prefer the drawers just so you can see what's going on. Uh, but otherwise, we put on the iron armor. Oh, it looks like I uh, got some ice here. I'm going to break this and let it go again. We're looking for snow. All right, the next thing we're going to make is mutation paste, which is going to need a rock core, and we're going to need some fertile soil and a green one of these guys. So let's grab four of these. I'm going to make... Another four of our rock cores. Uh, I have a bit too much on me, but that's okay. Uh, we're done with freezer, done with that. Come back here. You can kind of see I pretty well lay out... Oop, grab the wrong type of stone here. Pretty well lay out what we're going to be doing for the day on the left-hand side uh, before our episode starts. It just makes it a little bit easier to craft during the episode. All right, so now we have four rock cores. Uh, this guy hasn't worked yet. So let's take a look at this again. We need our fertile soil. Well, where did we get fertile soil? Right there, when we used our shard to get the tree. Important thing here, don't let it die. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna grab that bucket that we had and I'm gonna Ooh, good timing. I'm going to grab some water from here. And we are going to actually place these right here for the moment. Do this. Stand in here and get our fertile soil. All right. Grab our water back out. Oh, hi, Mr. Kitty. And I'm going to pick a few of these back up. Because I only want to do one at a time. So we'll set this right next to it. And let's grab our shards. Done with that. And you right click there. You'll notice fertile soil went ahead and fell off. Fell off. Fell off. You're going to have to keep doing this uh, for the beginning. There are some ways to make this work a little bit better. But they're not the easiest things to do super early. Uh, and we'll go into what those are shortly. As soon as we can get this guy to actually work. They can be a pain sometimes. Oh, is it actually going to stick on? There we go. There's our mutation paste. So let's grab that. Quest complete. And let's take a look at... Um, let's do at... Well, and we will take a look at what it takes to make these a little bit easier. They're going to take some stabilizers. Light core stabilizer, just a little expensive. Uh, we could make some mist rods, and we probably will here in a moment uh, to make that. So let's go ahead and do that, because we're going to make three more sets of mutation paste. Uh, you don't need a whole lot of this throughout the pack, but you will need a little bit. 
Uh, we're going to make two of those into this. Do we have glass up here? We do not, which means it must be downstairs. Do we have glass over here? We do. Good. All right. So, make two lines of that. Oops. Seem to have missed out a bit. Uh, there we go. And... How many of these did we need? Just one? No, we needed the two. All right, so we now have our two empty rods. Uh, take all this stuff back. We're gonna fill those with pieces of our soul again to make them into mist rods. I'm gonna have to eat some bread here. Filling our soul into these rods, definitely, uh, it takes a little bit of effort. So let's head back up here. We're gonna need to make another Tool block, we're gonna need a couple pieces of gold. Uh, gold, two of it. Where is our light core stabilizer? Uh, and just some heavy ingots and some stool casings. So we need two more heavy ingots. We need a little bit of this, a little bit of this. Light core stabilizer. And we're ready to, where did it go? always bothered me that JEI moves a little bit like that. Alright, so we have a light core stabilizer. Uh, we're not quite ready to make the next level. It is fairly cheap, but glowstone can be a bit difficult to get uh, without making this one. So we will get to that later. But let's go place this uh, right about here. And if I remember correctly, we place it like so. I might have this backwards. We'll have to check and see if this works easily or not. Is this any better than the first time? If not, I might have this backwards. I've seen people do it both ways and neither seemed that much more effective over the other. At least with the level one. Uh, I have a feeling I have it backwards though. Always a fun game of catch and release. All right, grab this, grab our fertile soil again, and we're gonna switch these around and show you what it takes, what it looks like. So now when we do this, hopefully, it works out a little bit better. It's working a little bit better. Uh, it's not going to be perfect, but as you can see, we didn't have to pick it up like 12 times really quickly. It, it's going to make a fool out of me now, but there we go. So about six, seven pickups instead of the 12 or 13 we had before. And we will finish this up. I'm going to take our mutation paste. Oop. Craft it into these. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with that here in a moment. Once we get this final one. You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Alright. Turn this in. And let's run upstairs and check on our snow Hopefully we've got some. That we do. Look at that. All right, we're going to break this, break this, and grab our shovel and get some snow. We got four snow, guys. Look at that. All right. Um, I'm going to actually let it make more snow. And we're going to need to look at our quest book again. Mutation pace complete. Give us iron boots. Put those on. And oops. Let's head back up here. To make our block of quartz, we're going to need warm core, shard of the born might. Make two of those, and I'm actually going to make a little bit of glowstone while we're at it. So let's craft this into a block. Uh, since we have the heat cores already, let's come down here. We're going to replace our fertile 
ground here with this piece of gold. We're going to take warm core, set it there, and oops, there we go, and set that there. All right, place it back down. And we wait. Uh, hopefully we should... We're going to be pretty close to wrapping up uh, chapter 2. Uh, we've got a little bit of time, but I don't think we're going to wrap up chapter 2 today. We will probably wrap it up next time and then get straight into chapter 3. Hey, look at that. Gave us exactly 4 glowstone. Not very often you actually get 4 glowstone from it. So we'll place that again. And we're going to try and get to this medium. Oh, you know what? We can already make the medium one. Hang on. Give me this, and let's go upstairs. Alright, what else did we need for the medium one? We needed two redstone, two asul. So let's grab that. Two redstone, two asul. And we'll make our medium stabilizer. That'll make this process a lot quicker. Come down here, place you down like so, and place down our block of gold. Look at that, working much better. I say that and it pops off. There we go. Alright, break this again. That one only gave us two, unfortunately. Not the greatest, but that is okay. So, next, we're going to place our snow down, warm pour, and shard of the born might. Hopefully get us some quartz here. The nice thing about this is it will pop off the snow block, so you can easily get it back if you uh, didn't want to shovel it. Uh, it might not actually pop it off here, though, with a medium stabilizer, thankfully. So... Let's get that, make one more block of quartz, and that is a quest complete. Give us four grass, and next we're going to get into some cactus. We just need a sapling and two mutation paste. Uh, our snow fell off, let's go grab a sapling while well, that's doing its thing. Alright, sapling, and actually we have a crafting bench right here that we can use. So we will take our mutation paste make two cactus yay cactus come back over here first time it did so well now it's just not happy finish making our quartz there we go all right so with that cactus complete gets us some leggings and the next thing we're going to need to do is make a little bit of room somewhere for a cactus farm. Um, hmm. I don't, I didn't actually leave room for a cactus farm, did I? That's okay. Um, I guess we'll place it upstairs for now. Uh, eventually we'll make an official farm for this, but for right now we can just grab a couple pieces of sand and yeah, we'll set it right here. Cactus, cactus. And again, you can hold shift. You'll see it's growing pretty quickly this way. Uh, crop dusting our cactus. It'll stay fully grown. It's not actually fully grown. It will grow further. Uh, I tend to like to just break it here though. A little bit easier to manage and you don't have to worry about them breaking as much. All right, let's get a little bit more snow here and then we're going to actually pick up the freezer because we do not want to waste our crystal power. And now we just have an infinite water source here. Put our crystal inside of, where did it go? Or not our crystal, our freezer. And let's do a little bit of inventory clearing. This and these, anything else we can put away? Not really. All right. Hurry up and get this going before we have too much to do. So we're going to need some cactus green, piece of clay, and three pieces of paper. Well, 
piece of clay. Cactus green, we just need to smelt one piece of cactus. Uh, if you guys hear any noises, the cat has decided that he wants to be part of this party. And join in on the episode. So, say hi to the wonderful Chase. He's going to try and play with some of the things on my desk. Which, I mean, that's what cats do, right? They play with things, they get into trouble. Hashtag cats. Alright, so, to make our circuit plates here, we got three of those. I'm going to actually have to move Mr. Kitty because I can't see crafting. There we go. Alright, what else do we need? We're going to need one piece of iron, a little bit of gold, and a refined circuit pattern, which comes from a crude circuit pattern, which is just a piece of iron and some paper. Let's get some more of our wonderful sugar cane here. Craft that up into paper. Where did it go? Here it is. And let's come up here. I think most of the rest of this is going to be iron. Let's grab two pieces of iron, one piece of gold, and we're going to put this in here. We are going to need crafting bench. Take a look at this. Craft one of these. Craft that into the refined circuit pattern. Place that in there. And then, what else did we need? We needed one piece of iron to go in there. And we're going to need to make some iron or some gold that we can actually put in here uh, so tiny pile of gold dust is basically just some gold in a rotary grinder which we have down here let's come down here grab our rotary grinder put a piece of gold through it and I know the episode's going a little bit long today guys but I am super excited about this pack it has been so much fun on stream. We are actually getting towards the end of streaming it, honestly. Uh, I think probably this week will be the end of the streaming. And the next thing we just need to do now, take a little bit of charcoal and throw it in here. So this will provide heat up to the solder. You'll see the temperature going up. And it just costs charcoal. You can put the sugarcane charcoal in here if you would like I just happen to have this close on hand uh, so let's take a look up here at how we're getting going it needs to get to 125 degrees Celsius so once we have this we're gonna go into the magnetic reassembler incinerator and a bunch of other things uh, in the next episode unfortunately we didn't quite make it as far as I was thinking but we did take a little bit of a sidetrack to get some of the Cool things built like these stabilizers to make our day with cores a lot easier that'll be super useful in the future we finally made it up to temperature and this has begun crafting it takes a little bit of time it's not the fastest thing in the world but this will give us what we want within the next few seconds Three, two, one, done. All right, here's a refined circuit. This should give us the last piece of armor, it does. And we'll put that on. Look at us now, all fancy and snazzy. Well, with that guys, that is going to be the end of our episode for today. We made a decent amount of progress in chapter two. Next time when we come back, we're going to complete chapter two and move into chapter three. Uh, what is in chapter 3, you might say? Well, it is a lot, a lot of evil craft. There's a lot of things to get into, and it's going to take a lot of prodigy tech to get into it. Uh, as you can see, we've got some mobs spawning. We've got some embers. We've got some more evil craft. We've got some calculator mod. And my favorite, and what I love to rush in this mod pack, integrated dynamics. So... Hopefully, we will get somewhere around here next time. Uh, but it's going to be probably two or three episodes before we get a storage terminal going. So, for now, though, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.